What's up YouTube? This is Keyshawn from Center Point Station again. Sorry it's been a while since my last video. Uh, been really busy with real life. So in this video tutorial, I'll be doing part two of the IRC Pearl Bot. In this part, we will be making the commands that you'll use on IRC with the bot. For this tutorial, we'll be making the evolve command, say command, action command, join and part commands, and that's it. So let's get started. Alright, so right here I have the full bot script completed. I just want to highlight a few changes that I made from the last video. I added a username and a real name for the bot. And I changed the server from Freenode to Ryzen. I changed the channel to number CPS or hash mark CPS. And at the bottom right here, it said epic command. Just delete the epic and the underscore. I also added the sub function command. So here is where all of the commands for the user to use will come into play. So first you need to make all this. But I'm not going to explain it right now. I'm going to put it in the description. And by the way, the full bot code will be in a pastebin. The, the link to the pastebin will be in the description of this video. So the first thing you need to know is that in order for your bot to recognize a command, you're going to need to set each command. For example, if the user doesn't give a command, they just give the prefix. The command by default will be fail. And if it equals to fail, this line will kick in, which will be an emote in the channel, which is an action. It was it'll say in the channel where the where the prefix was used it's going to say needs a command to do so it appear like this CPS bot needs a command to do then next we have the evil command which is basically if the command equals evil you set dollar sign is command equal to one I'll explain the is command variable later in the variable in the in the video. Then after that we have evil about we have evil array args which does whatever whatever evil the whatever syntax the user displays. Next we have to say an action command which kind of go hand in hand with each other they display in the same way what well, they display sort of the same thing but in different ways for example the say command shows a person shows the bot saying something while the action command does it shows the bot doing something. So for the say command, what we're going to be doing for each command, except for the evil command, is that we're going to be logging whatever is used into the command prompt that the bot is running in. So we're going to have Dawson path log that it's going to display 
the say command was used by Zatan who is to display who is using the command and Zatan where is to display where the command was used. Then it's going to show what the user wants about to say. Next, dollar sign is command equals one. Then, dollar sign path say channel and who are basically the same. They show where or who the text go to. So set both of them equal to dollar sign args. Dollar sign args zero. And then set the body equal to array args one dot dot dollar sign hash mark args then in the action it's going to kind of show the same thing except instead it says it said it's going to say the action command was used by who and where to do whatever the person was about to do dollar sign is command equals one then dollar sign path emote just like in the fail command channel who are both equal to args zero byte is array args one dot dot dollar sign hash mark args so then join and part command also go hand in hand together Except the part command is a little more complex. So then, for join, you have the lock. You have log. The join command was used by who and where to join. Then this part, arg zero, is going to show w what channel the user wanted about to join. Its command equals one. Then path for join arg zero since for the joining part command you really only need one thing then for the part command if the user doesn't specify what channel he or she wants about to leave it's going to assume that the person wants to about to leave the channel that the command was used in so you set dollar sign arg zero is equal to dollar sign where but this line right here will display an error in your command prompt if you see that don't don't panic it's completely fine it's not going to ruin anything so then next it's going to show log the part command was used by who and where to leave then it's going to show the channel that the user wanted the bot to leave. Then dollar sign is command equals one. Then path part dollar sign arg zero. Now here is where I'm going to explain the is command. So if dollar sign is command is equal to zero. The is command variable is basically telling about whether the command used by a person is an actual command uh, integrated into the bot. So then if dot sign is command equals zero, here's what we want to do. We want to do dot sign path say set channel to dollar sign where who to dollar sign where body to then here's what we're going to do we're going to put dollar sign who Um, dollar sign who 
Dot sign. Uh, dot sign. Command is not a real command. We're gonna close it with a close parentheses in the semicolon. So now, with that done, we're gonna save the bot. Open up curl command curl command line. Now I have this on my desktop, so I'm going to do cd dot dot slash desktop. Then we're going to put bot dot curl. Or if you're on Linux, we're going to put curl bot dot pearl dot pl. It's going to run the command. Now we're going to the channel and wait for the bot to connect. It's going to take a while for the bot to connect. And here he is. So now you're going to put the command prefix that we set for the bot. For me, it's a tilde. We're going to use the command. Like, say, number CPS high center point station viewers. And he actually says it. Action number CPS dances. Say, and we're going to make him PM me. And he actually does it. As you can see. And here, let me explain the username and the real name up here. For when the bot connects, here's the username, even though the full username drive this that input isn't here. And here's the center point station bot. The real name. So now I'm going to make him join the channel. Not that channel. Alright, number center point. So join number center point. And here he is. Now if I tell him to part number CPS. He actually parts number CPS. If I tell him to part, just part, he's gonna leave this channel. I'm gonna make him rejoin number CPS now. So now I'm just going to use try to give it a command that we didn't specify before. Like let's say voice Keyshawn. So as you can see, it's gonna say Keyshawn, voice is not a real command. So that's it for this video tutorial. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on and like us on Facebook. Thank you for your time. Have a good day.